talking tree will tear your limbs off, buddy. Oh god. Um uh Oh, he'll lead. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And that's what we're doing now. I just saw the icon of a player dead behind me. I was like, who just died? Welcome to the Dermond Priory. Uh, plan for tonight. Uh, we are leveling up and basically I think I'll just start doing map completion of Lonar's Pass and that should give us level 40 and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. It's possible we won't even touch the story tonight. Oh well. Let's go. And this is the order we have joined, the Dermot Priory. This place a lot. Stop. Are those stone tablets? The magically suspended tablets contain the amassed knowledge of the Priory. Surging with power, the tablets' inscriptions emit a faint glow while they rotate around a central pearl of light. I like this. Like, it's fantasy, it's mystical, but it's also, it feels... Mmm... How would I put it? It feels a little rough. It's not like pretty magic, you, there's sparkles everywhere, no. It's like serious... heavy stuff here. Maybe it's because it's in the mountains and like it's huge and made of stone and And that's the actual priory. I think we just unlocked the thing. There's a lecture underway. Open the door. Um hello? Um Lady, that's not how you do it. <laughs> it's funny, because Nowadays, like, the characters can sit in chairs properly, but back then, when the game first launched, they couldn't, so this is just a, you know, sit animation on a desk. It's, that's funny. Decimus the Historian. Hello, Decimus. Uh, thank you again for saving the Priory from those wretched dredge. Poor creatures, all for history. I was just teaching about them, in fact. Care to sit on a lecture? Perhaps not. Okay, I'm gonna leave this place, because I'm pretty sure we will, spin, we will be spinning uh, the next story here. I can. Yay. She's streaming. First strike done? Wait. I thought you only needed one. How many do you need to do? Oh, that is so, so pretty. I can't get... I don't get it. This game is so old at this point. And it looks so good. So good. And um, it's telling me to go down. Uh, the point of interest. Even lower. Okay. Here. Oh, it's Ogden's quarters. So he lives here, not in the actual priory. He has some dried meat. Can't get inside, unfortunately. And it's okay, we got the we got the POI. Oh, can we unlock the tornado? No? Oh no, we need more. Over in Bouldermouth Vale, Herder Lyot's been having trouble maintaining her Doliath Ranch. A group of local ice worms developed a taste for her doliacs, and Lyot's caught between fending off the worms and tending to her animals. If you have time, stop by and lend her a hand. Okay, so a doliac ranch, but that's south. Is there anything 
in the northern part there is. So I think I'd rather go north, because we started there. Complete that part. And then come back. So maybe I should just... Yeah, I should just wait one here. Help Hewn manage the lodge. Rouse the drunks, take patrons' orders, calm rowdy patrons, protect Doliaks, and repair fencing. Repair fencing, okay. Uh, surely we don't want this guy here. Wait, what? Oh, that, oh, that was an event. Okay. You met with Let me show you how I break things. Oh, here. <laughs> so far. You think I'm so at my fault. Remember how to play with a scepter. Why are you immune? Take patron's orders. How do I do that? Ordering patron. Hello. Would like some ale. Okay. Um, uh, ale, ale, ale. From top. There you go. Excelsior. Excelsior. It's a meat on a stick. You have three mechanists. Oh. I see. I see. Yeah, I, w I always look up builds. I'm just not smart enough. And the minimaxer in me just just can't deal with it. <laughs> but my main is also a reaper, and that's that's such an easy spec. It's hard to go wrong with it. What do you want? Meat, meat on a stick. Oh, uh, wait. I need that a different ra different rack. Where is it? Here? Oh, did anyone answer me what Ellie is playing? Maybe I missed it. Good hunting. Rowdy patron. There's been reeks and dusting. And dusting once a century doesn't count as housekeeping, you know. Uh, okay. Uh. <sighs> You chill out. Oh, chill out with, with like water and ice there. Or chill out. There we go. <laughs> Is there any more rowdy patrons here? I need like one more. Or a drunk. There we go. He drunk Asura. How lightweight do you guys think Asuras are? Like, two beers max? Oh my, he's on fire! Oh my god! Hate. How are you, Melodian? Uh, that's done. There's a scout up north. Let's go there. Rihanna. Oh my god, a cute red panda! Oh my goodness. A fire red panda. The German Priory may be influential in these parts. Their main base of operations is here, after all. But they're not the only game in town. The Nentor Consolidated Mine has carved out a vital role as the main supplier of ore and gems for Lion's Arch. Lately, though, they've had trouble with Skrit. Skrit! Their deliveries have slipped as a result. They need help, or it'll likely get worse. Bit too close, and to war when right? There are thieves! Would you like to learn about the dwarves? Yes. In this area of the world, there have been two dwarven races, the Delgemore and the Stone Summit. 
Many believe they were among the earliest residents in Tyria. Now, they're all dead. All dead? Well, actually, there's a bit of a, deba a debate about that and plenty of rumors. What I do know for certain is that the grind... The grand majority died to save the world from the Great Destroyer. This is the story of uh, GW1. Step hello, I need your picture. <laughs> they sacrificed themselves? Yes. Tyria was on the verge of annihilation by the Great Destroyer. But the dwarves had a ritual. The ritual worked, but it, ex but it exacted a severe price. The dwarves paid it. Yeah, the ritual turned them into stone. And as uh, Ogden said, most of them are underground, fighting the destroyers. Which are minions of the Elder Dragon Primordis, a dragon of fire. And Ogden is the only one that is left on that's left on the surface. Okay, this looks kind of promising, if we can get up there. Yep, and from here. Oh, here they still haven't finished okay there we go the event still need to go back to the place where she, uh, where she is from last owl shrine oh wait that's sad There's a hero challenge here. Um, um, okay, we should probably kill them. Frozen portal. You saw proofs that kind of pretty. Wait, mm, did I receive proof? Oh, 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 oh. Why, hello there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I I concur. Stuff looking good. A crackling voice issues uh, issues from the portal. Are you foolish enough to stand against us? I am up for any challenge. Let's do it. That was rude. Firestorm. Kinda dying. Cross armor. <laughs> I'm amazing. What is that? Uh, come on. Oh, it's a stun. Oh, there's a thing. Should we do a thing? A rift barrier. Catch brown crystals and use them to disrupt. I'm not sure, really sure when this event happened. It wasn't originally in the game. But it's kind of a fun one. But I, I will need people to finish it. No, I need to catch those. Go up to the barrier and we smash it. Yeah. Even successful. Enter the rift. <laughs> I definitely can't. I will die. Oh, there are people here. Wait a second, we can do it. I think. Let me stun him. Uh, 
And now we need to do the crystals again with people this time. I'm stupid. I can just TP to those circles like that. I'm dumb. <laughs> Boink. Okay, okay, those hurt. Oh, I'm scaled up to level 80 now. Interesting. I'm... Uh, out. Okay. We'll probably have a barrier on. Okay, 50%. Need to do it two more times. One. I can see when most because it actually has mechanics. I think the rift is always possible to do alone, like in the open world, but then once you get into the instance, a couple different like events have the same zo Ooh. Oh, I misclick. Remember correctly, yeah, the rift collapses and it, this kills everybody. Let's just leave. Alrighty. Manned injured miners collapse grid holes. An event. More come, yes? More come, yes? Cooking, I don't... I mean, I could. Does cooking work for that? Oh, hey. Training and crafting is different from a crafting master. I guess cooking works. Yeah, I can do. I can do cooking. I don't think I need to do much with it. I really like the burst between fire and... Uh, fire and water. Goodness. Oh, ooh, ooh, how do I get there? Oh, he, oh, mm.
jump here. Up this way. Okay, yeah. That's it. And the last one. Ah, oh, I did it. Quick! Damn it! And now we can go and try doing this event. Still alive. That's a cute mount. I'm not sure what it was. Was it a doggo? Throw a rock at him. Oh, I can also plug a tunnel. Uh, are there any screw tunnels here? Here. Plug tunnel. Here. We're done. Well, oh, that's the event. I am stupid. I didn't realize that's the event with the boulders and the tunnels. Oh, we got ten, ten hero points. Eat pain. Giants, Corit, Kier, the Chucker. Why is he so tanky? This feels like an elite and uh, not a veteran. We got a friend here. This looks like a champion. What is that enemy? Both to Mannerheim's stead holders impress spectators at the northern sharp sharpshooting range, slay hostile beasts, and help inexperienced hunters. I mean, that's a wholesale beast. I'm 
the zapping them. Well, that's a different heart. Oops. Too far. Two more. But the back fist. You must visit more often. Hey, we have a challenger. Separate up, adventurer, and let's see if your if your bows are as brown as your prison presence. Give us your best boast. I am deadly with any weapon I wield. I know air personally. I have fought beside her. I yep. Yeah. You called out a boast this morning. I dug a tunnel under your my back. Your my back. Pull down their dragon totem and use it to pick my teeth. Okay. I am deadly with any weapon I wield. Big deal. I can think of 16 ways to kill you with the stale biscuit in my pocket and I'll still be able to eat the biscuit. Try again. But I can't. What about you? You don't look like much. You better ask your den mother before you play with any of the Mannerheim warriors. Okay, let's, let's fight him. That was easy. <laughs> uh, that was a good fight. I confess, when I gave you advice about building your legend, I wasn't expecting to hear from you again. Imagine my surprise when the locals started trading tales about you performing great deeds. With ambition like that, I doubt this will be the last I hear about you. It made me proud to have played even a small part in your in your story. And now we need to Fight Molengrad the Dredge and destroy their machines. That is very straightforward and I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Done. One more heart. Let's see. Fight centaurs and sons of Svanir, destroy Svanir banners, protect incoming caravans and heal wounded soldiers. We can do that, and then we... You didn't get it? No! After... I mean, it's not your fault, it's your internet, but... Oh, it sucks. Six. Don't try that sword. Same. And there's no way you can do it in challenge mode, right? Because I imagine challenge mode is actually hard. So the last thing we need is earn turn crafting levels, craft one item, and select the crafting master. And what I can use the elite, elite skill right now, you can see how it looks. I summon a huge sword, I, I have a big sword, I, and I can use, use it for 30 seconds. I can do like a whirling attack. I can rush, I can do, what is this? Fire eruption. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Doliak. No. It's big damage. It's a very bursty thing. Sprint, I'm hit. Sprint, I'm hit. Any more of them? Piece of scrap metal. Why? Organized tools, this arm squid made traps. Stop squid ambushes. Maybe two more waves. There could also be atta attacking from behind. There we go, okay. It's 
that? It's stolen Tanner. Must have some smart script. Part done. Did I get progress on that? I think so. And I did. Good. We'll have to come back here to Lorna's Pass to finish the events and the hearts, but for now, let's move to Lion's Arch. I see a hero challenge. I'm, uh. And it's not here. Wait, where is it then? It says it's up, it's above me. Is it? And the Atom Cave? I didn't see this, the big boy. Okay, I stunned him. I missed a tornado, that's fine. Glowing light is accompanied by the aroma of blossoms and breeze of fresh air. Edens and other creatures of the earth are drawn by its inexplicable pull. Boink. Oh. That was so comical. Ah, I just moved my camera. You don't have a sword, you deserve it. Can we get through this cave? Uh, we can. We can also kill some more people. Fly. Oink. And now we entered, I think, human, human lands. Yeah. There's Divinity's Reach. Mm, kind of. I'm not sure which one is considered the hu- Oh, it's Queensdale, then Cassex Hills and Kandran, Kandran Fields, okay. That's their third map. Finally- <laughs> Guys, we have left the snow! We did it! Raptor, can you take, take me to Lion's Arch? Why am I here? Are you floating? I, I I I can't get on. Um. Uh... Help! 
Help! It works! Congrats. Um, uh, that's not how, how boats work. Um, um, hmm. Oh. If we need to be in a party, that would make a lot of sense. Yep, that's, that's it. Also a fishing spot, but I forgot to transfer my fishing equipment. Um, uh... I guess that's the closest point. I can't really complain. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, he'll lead. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And that's what we're doing now. Um, I'm actually walking faster than his mount. Tip, tippy taps. Back. Huh. Uh, can I do this? I don't think it changes anything. I can't do that. Should I transfer my fishing equipment so that I can fish on the way? I would have to ch uh, switch characters real quick. Let's enter Lion's Arch for the first time. The capital of all the races. I mean, not really capital, but Lion's ass. Only city with a cutscene. quite nice. A little bit of info. That is not the original Lion's Arch. Lion's Arch was also a city in Guild Wars 1. At the beginning of Guild Wars 2 it looked completely different, but it got destroyed and we will play through that story at some point. So I'm not gonna tell you guys how it got destroyed, but it got destroyed and it got rebuilt into like this kind of theme park with like you know water because this is a pirate city with water mm, creature related buildings such as you know starfish I, i'm not sure what that's supposed to be but there's like an octopus there's a lobster further down yeah there a huge lobster 
So yeah, that's it. Did he post a link to MasterChef? Ugh. Okay, stories right here, and in the in those stories that happen in Lion's Arch, we'll we'll see the old one. Will be instance to the old Lion's Arch. But before we do that, I need to need to go AFK. So let me find a good spot, like here, maybe. Seek and you shall find. I mean, as that's actually good because I kind of forgot to to do my talents. So I unlocked all the. I did training, but I can still... I, I have specializations to do. So let's focus on that. How many slots do I have? Are oh, we gonna get second one very soon? Okay. In one level. Let's fin... Mm, we won't finish it up. Uh, we need a couple more. Like 60 more points. I have two minutes. That's fine. I'm not gonna start a story, don't worry. Let's see. This is power. Burning you and afflict it. Burning you and afflict. Oh, burning you and afflict has increased the duration. Okay, okay, okay. This is the fire aura that we have. Mm, and what's here? Burning Rage. Fire auras have increased duration. While at or above the Might Threshold. Gain increased power. Power bonuses are doubled while attuned to fire. I don't think I can get enough Might quite yet. Let's leave it. Your fire weapon skills gain reduced recharge. They'll increase strike damage to burning foes. And this is the last... The only one we can pick here. Fire fields created by weapon skills last longer. Whenever you fire, your fire fields hit a foe, gain increased strike damage to... Oh, okay. This seems like a... So far, at least. It seems more... Mm, 
staff oriented. Maybe we should switch back to staff for now, because this is fire fields. How good is my staff? Oh, it's alright. That's similar. Oh, let's, let's go back to stuff for now. Mm -mm -mm. Quickly uh, switch to my other character and I'll transfer some fishing stuff. Just so I can fish on the way. I was supposed to do it before stream and I forgot. I am not too smart. There we go. Are we doing in time? Are we good? We're good. Okay. I was also using wrong gathering tools. I mean, not wrong ones, but not the ones I wanted to. Uh, let's do it. Visit the Traders Forum in Lion's Arch. And I'm gonna, gonna stretch, stretch and hydrate first. I love how I started using Wiggle as a stretch emote. I like it. I'm also gonna leave uh, the party so that Rapture can stalk me if he wants to. Setting the stage. This is Destiny's Edge with Air and her friends. One for each race. And this is Old Lion's Arch with a sepia tone because, you know, it's like supposed to be nostalgic. But it was very different, as you can see. I know, I like the new one. But I think I prefer the old one. But maybe I'm just saying, as a, saying it as a Guild Wars 1 player and it... Even though it's completely different. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm saying. Alright, speak to your friend. Which is Air, I am... yeah. Garm, I see him! <laughs> yeah. It looks so different. Let me uh, turn off post-processing for a second. Where is it? I don't see it. It's not shaders, right? No. It's here, I'm so dumb. So that's how it actually looked like. Without the sepia. It was a nice city. You'll see what happens to it in season one. So after the main story, we'll do we'll, do, we'll deal with that. Hello, L. Hello, Air. <laughs> Kate should be here by now. What could be keeping her? I'm sure she'll be here in any moment. There she is.
Welcome, fellow members of Destiny's Edge. We must speak of the threat of the Elder Dragons. When I agreed to come, I didn't know you'd be inviting this char. I could say the same for you, human. Finally crawling back for forgiveness, Logan. I've done nothing that needs to be forgiven. Logan, Ritlock, enough of your squabbling. Kaith, I doubt that we can unite again. Not after our last mistake. The Norn's right. When heirs to Galkin makes mistakes, people die. Is that what you think, Soja? That what happened was my fault? Please, all of you. Our time has come. We must help the Orders. We have fought the Elder Dragons before. And lost. Because someone couldn't keep up with us. You have something to say, say it to my face. I would if you weren't always running away. I should <laughs> gut you and be done with it. Gut me? With what? That human-made sword you looted from Ascalon? I've had enough. We're done here. Running away again. Ritlock, you're just making it worse. Ha! Look who's talking! Logan's right, for once. I have more important things to do. I'm done with this. And I refuse to waste my efforts on cowards and fools. Goodbye, Keith. It's sad to see Logan and Ritlock argue. If only there was something to bond them together. Yes, I know it might help. Keith, I have to leave as well. I fear this meeting was a mistake, but maybe I can fix it. We failed, then. Failed to bring Destiny's Edge back together. We cannot help the others. How can we help Tyria? Okay, so those are the characters that help other races. Like for me, it's Ersa Galkin, obviously. Ritlock Brunstam is for the Char. Logan Thackeray for the humans. Kate for the Savari. And Zoja for... She's so tiny next to me. And Zoja's for the, for the Asura. Uh, it was so annoying to move around and so empty. It's true, it's true. I, I mean, I feel like New Lands Arch is better. Especially for like a main city, it's very convenient. So yeah. I can't talk to any of them, I don't think. Faith? No. Zoja? Oh. Something to discuss? Okay, only Zoja says something. Garm? Nothing's exploded, right? No, not not yet. Thank you. May the spirits of the wild Zoja's right. It's my fault. Is it arrogance that makes me want to step forward again? Or is it the right thing to do? So the dungeons. The story of the dungeons deal with those characters mostly. Um, it's like a side side story explaining their 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 dyna dynamic and what happened mm, to their guild. You're a legend, heir. I uh, I see that I see that in you still. Believe in yourself, or if you can't, at least believe in me. You're right, Slayer. But that that doesn't mean my task. But that doesn't make my task any easier. I need to find a way to heal these wounds that I've caused. We will err, and we'll see the dragons fall. Together. But you're correct. Side by side, we will stand ag against the tide. Thank you, my friend. I must go and consider my next move. I will call on you when I know what it will be. I'll be ready, Air. Be safe. If I remember right, everyone stayed in their race capital and hated LA because it was so clunky, so that's why they rewor reworked it. Mm. I don't know if that was the main reason. I believe they had to have it planned, like, basically at launch. Because it happened, like, what, a year after launch? Year and a half? I'm not sure when exactly season one happened. Okay. Bye-bye, Old Lion's Arch. At least we get to see it in instances. I wouldn't mind doing a dungeon, like right now, because this is the moment we could do the level 30 dungeon. But I don't think we have enough people, so we, we, we would need a party of 5, and we only have Raptor now. A good play. So we'll just do it once we have a full party possible. Uh, and it gave us old LA and nobody sits here because it's garbage. 
I didn't know you could go there just like that. A new friend. Novice. Oh, it's Novice. I thought it was Initiate. Okay, I'm gonna change my title to the Priority Novice. I'm so excited to meet you. You must have wonderful stories to tell. I can't wait to hear them. I have been assigned to escort you to Dermot Priory. So meet me back by uh, the Black Lion Trading Company HQ in Lion's Arch. And we'll get started on a grand adventure. Sierra. All right. Why is it still highlighted? I don't like it. Oh, there we go. Sierra, my love. Yeah, each order gets like a companion. Sierra, Sierra is gonna be ours, but... Is Sierra your favorite one, Raptor? I wonder. I don't think she is, but... I feel like you talk about her a lot. Why am I going here? It's this way. You can't choose between the, those two, yeah. I'm not gonna spoil anything about the other good one, because I feel like there, there are two that are the favorites of most people. And one is okay. That is a sick mog. Oh, I love it. Who is that? Oh, it's a Willbender. I think it's a Guardian Elite spec. She looks so good. Vigil wanted to hit the last, yeah. Okay. Dredging up the past. Meeting my mentor. Let's meet Sierra. Alt Alt Alley again. Gix, leader of the Dermot Priory. Hello, Gix. Hello. Welcome to the Dermot Priory, Novus. Excuse me, who are you? My name is Gix, and I am the Dermot Priory Steward. You'll be seeing a lot more of me, I promise you. Have a good day now. Ah, I see. Thank you for the information, Steward. The Dermot Priory is a bastion of history, containing the collected wisdom of the ages. For 200 years, we've stood upon a foundation of lore, research, and exploration. When Lion's Arch was flooded by the rise of the Nation of Or, our forebearers rescued the city's survivors. We salvaged knowledge that would otherwise have been lost. Now is the dragon's ravage ever greater expanses of Tyria. We must do even more. We must discover the truths that Tyria needs to survive. Where the dragons came from, why, and how to end their threat. The Priory is dedicated to Lorca. Sira, one of our most cunning scholars, will provide tutelage to help you gain wisdom that you will need. Tyrion. Dermond. Our founder said it best. Your power is only equal to the sum of your knowledge. If that's true, then we're Tyria's best hope to survive the darkness gathering on the horizon. Welcome to the Dermond Priory. Cutscene. I enjoy that. There she is, Magister Siren. Ah, oh, here you are. You must be the new novice I was sent to retrieve. I'm a Magister of the Order, but we don't need to use titles. 
Just call me Siren. Happy to meet you. I'm looking forward to working with the Derman Priory. It's nice to see that you're enthusiastic. I know I'm supposed to take you straight back to the Priory, but I'd like to take a little side trip. While I was waiting for you, Explorer Kecht was telling me this really interesting story about an old dwarven tomb. And guess what? It's right on our way. I'll still take you to meet Seward Gix at the main Priory building, but I want to have a bit of fun first. <laughs> Magister Siren, you're not listening to me. We don't even know if the story is true. What if this tomb doesn't even exist? What if it's just a legend? Oh, Kecht, stop being a spoil sport. If I ignore this, those skulky dredge might find the tomb first. And how would that turn out? They'd destroy it. Come on. It won't hurt anything to go look around a bit. The novice doesn't mind, right? Exploring an ancient tomb on my first day in the Order? Sounds fun. I don't mind at all. Then it's settled. I'll meet you at Molent Summit, novice. Don't keep me waiting, okay? Let's go explore tomb. Magister is a, a bit excitable. She was supposed to take you to the Priory, not off on an adventure. I'm not exactly untrained, and Siren's enthusiasm is infectious. Oh, by the alchemy, you're two of a kind. How can I help you? She's adorable. Adorable! <laughs> So I'm here, I can get my gold. <laughs> At least now we don't have that one exclamation mark. Uh, okay. So we need to go back to Lornor's past. Uh, Lornor's past. And since we stunned to the events and hearts on the way, let's TP here. Mysterious meat. This pile of greasy fermented meat isn't even attracting flies, but the flesh reavers must use it for something. Flesh reavers. I forgot those creatures exist. They're nasty. But we haven't seen them. Uh, what are we doing? Are oh, we going this way? Lake of Lamentation discovered. I just saw the icon of a player dead behind me. I was like, who just died? And it was a raptor falling from the sky. Rosgate. Rosgate Falls. What is this place? That's so cool, but why? Is that? What did you just throw at me? What was that? I got ball for doggy. Puppy. <laughs> Go in this direction and do the event.
There's a commander on this map. What's happening over there? But yeah, if I am like illegible or too far from the mic, just please let me know immediately. We would like one girl on my online classes today and get, get so close to the mic, our Edron's bleed. I am actually almost touching the mic with my nose. Like right now I am touching the mic. And it's very uncomfy because I cannot see my second screen. I can barely see chat. Kind of dying. Oopsie. We increase the stuff. What stuff? Team fabricators, okay. There's one more. Going there. What are you doing? You go around. Oh, I did a heart. That was random. So many of them. Didn't realize it was a timed event, but it's also a meta event, which is like a map-specific event, like a big one. Usually consisting of 
a lot of smaller events. I could try increasing the gain like in, in system. Maybe I'll do it. I'll try doing it after this this event. That was rude. the fire storms. <laughs> Every elementalist conjure weapons to create two copies, but the second one disappeared. Oh well. I think they changed it, because it used to be timed, um, I mean, uh, like, charge-based. That you can, you could only use, like, 30 abilities. Oh, an amulet. But now it's just timed. Okay. Wait, let me adjust. My microphone. It's possible this is very loud, so let me know. And I am further away from the mic right now. It's not? Is it any different? So right now I'm, I'm at a like, comfy distance from my mic. And I can see both screens. I sound the same. Okay, but it's further away. Now it's closer. Now it's at a distance that it was like before the change. Crispy, that's not a good word. Okay, I'm gonna have it further away. And if it's like the same, that means it's better, it's better now because it's further away and it's not the same, right? Am I crazy for saying that? For saying that? So, I improved it. Oh, this way. Sierran and what was it? Discover a dwarven tomb. That's a nice portrait. Hello, my dear Sierran. Look at these glorious snow dusted mountains. I love the Shiver Peaks, they're so magnificent. Can you believe the ancient dwarves thought this was a good place for a tomb? It feels so alive. Such a strange choice. It's beautiful, but I'll admit I don't know much about dwarves. What's so interesting about this tomb? The dwarves are almost extinct, but in their time they knew a lot about the dragons. The Priory studies dwarven tombs to learn as much as we can. This tomb's completely unexplored. If there hadn't been a little earthquake, it would have stayed buried beneath rocks and ice. Oh. Kecht's old scroll said this was the tomb of a dwarven prince. It might have... Uh-oh. Look at those dig marks. Dredge. Shoots and thorns. I knew the dredge would find this place. That's why I wanted to come right away. 
See, the dredge were once enslaved by dwarves. They'll destroy anything dwarven. Once this cave opened up, they probably flocked here like jackdaws to a bone. Then we'd better hurry. Hey, do you hear that? Siren, watch out! Oh, okay, watch out! Oh, so many dredge. Fire. They just burned them. Firestorm. Oh, not still an artifact. This looks like a pipe. I mean, it's full of pipes. I think it it was it got discovered. I was stunlocked for such a long time. Actually, I don't have a stun break in this build. I should probably change that. Find out if the tomb is dwarven origin. Search. Don't search, because they're still attacking me. Okay. This guy's chilling. That. Stop doing that! Prisoners. Sure, Gix sent us. That's why we're here. Gix. Right. Yeah. When I see you back at the Priory, I'll buy you an ale. Yeah, he, he sent us. I remember that. Right, chat? It was all planned. A carefully planned mission. Mm hmm. Find you. Let's heal up. Come on, me. That talking tree's gone crazy. Get it off me. I'll tell you anything. Just let me go. Not the talking tree. This talking tree will tear your limbs off, buddy. Oh, God. Is this all you found in the tomb, or did your people destroy some of the relics? Those relics are nothing compared to... We, we tried to shatter it, but we couldn't. It was too powerful. Nothing could harm it. Destroy what? Another relic? One like these? Junk! No, no. It was a sword. We sent it to the southern ruins, hoping to find some way to destroy it. 
death to the dwarves. A sword? Hmm. Maybe the writing on these relics will tell us more. I bet Gix can translate it. Let's head back to the Priory and ask him. Tree? That's the best he had. I'm more insulted by his lack of imagination. This is still alive. Oh yeah, he's running away. <laughs> Siren wanted to tear his limbs off. Um, do we still need to do hearts here? Yeah. Obtain a steam creature's disguise from a whis whispers agent. Uh, attack dredge troops, destroy their equipment. Well, that's fun. We thought we had it, but we had it, but but with those steam invaders everywhere. I read it wrong. We thought we had it bad, but with those steam invaders everywhere. But now the dredge are acting up. What's happening? The local dredge have decided that the Dermot Priory is a threat, and they've been harassing our outposts. Any, any, anything I can do? We need to destroy the dredge. If we could get them to attack the steam creatures, th that is slow down that that is slow down both their forces. How would we do that? If you attack the dredge while disguised as a steam creature, they will forget about the priory. Also, keep an eye out for dredge documents. And where will I get this disguise? I can transform you into a steam creature. So can my agents who are hiding at the other camp entrances. All right, transform me. I can jab, I can backhand, I can throw gear, and I can, I can stomp. Throw gear. And stomp. Boom. It's gonna take a while. Oh well. Okay, are we done? It's not bad. It's so funny how the dredge. I don't remember. I'm not sure if Raptor is here right now, but I don't remember Raptor. Uh, I don't remember the dredge in uh, Guild Wars 1. But it makes sense they have a feud with the dwarves. Like, with, uh, probably with any underground race. The Asura used to be an underground race, but they were. They had to leave their underground because of the dragons. What happened, Max? We were tunnels rich. I, d I don't remember that. But it's been a while. You are the GW1 master. You almost died? <laughs> no. Isuki. Not even close. Also, I'm pretty sure if I lost all my health, I would just go back to my regular self. Like, this is the health of the mech, I think. But I may be very wrong. Okay, this is kind of scary. And I think I'm fine. Good. Prophecies in the southern Shiver Peaks factions in Echovolt Forest, out of the north and depths of Tyria. See? It's fine. Okay, uh, it's possible I will die. <laughs> or not. Be he. Oh, it's a veteran. Oopsie. between geyser and healing rain create a geyser to kill nearby allies 645 healing over four seconds call down a healing rain on target area granting regen okay regeneration 
and curing conditions once every three seconds. So this is straight up healing, but from the skill, and this is from a boon. Gotcha. Why are you almost dead? I throw a water bottle at him. That's an annoying event, but we need we need it. The adventure guide. There's someone else here. Oh, it's the Guardians of the Dutch. Riva Ro Rogue. Rogue. Rouge. I can't speak today. I often have trouble speaking, but today is I, I just can't I can't English. I can't I can't even Polish. I can't I can't speak. Okay. Uh that should be enough now. You're hitting me! Oh. I have two fire elementals. <laughs> okay, I should, I should, I should actually keep that. I need to remember to uh, use them though. I can't English, knowledge. Uh uh. Right. Sort of steam creatures portals. Where do I even need to go? All right, back to the priory. Let's go there on food and complete events on the way. Thank you, Raptor. But you know, I thought spending time with me was enough for you. <laughs> Steam Portal Hero Challenge. Let's do it. A voice like juice grinding and electricity crackling bellows challenge. Bring it on. Increases remaining steam portal. Oh, a ring. Why is the moose hitting me? Stop doing that, moose. It's a cooking supplies. Cool. She's a chi she's a chicken chaser. Oh my god. Okay, let's summon earth elementals now. Nothing left to do but rebuild, I suppose. Is there anything over here? Oh my god. Oh god. I didn't realize that's what we were doing. I just cleared out the elementals and oh there are more people uh, okay uh, work on my lodge is there something you need I'm looking for information about the area well I can certainly help you with that there are minotaurs frost worms Jotun tons of adventure to be found what more could anyone want I'd like to hear about minotaurs 
They're big, tough, hairy, and they mostly stick to the west. Not much more to say about them. Okay, what about the frostworms? Ah, uh, the frostworms. Listen close now. There are more to more of to them than the local small fry would lead you to believe. Our west past, uh, out west past, uh, Le Leot's little farm. There's a sight to behold. I'm not boring you, am I? No, please continue. Excellent. So the worms out west are much bigger than ours. I've heard of a worm big enough to eat an non whole. The tails are rare and the survivors rare. Frost worms don't cook. Haha. <laughs> Wait, what? Tails are rare and the survivors rare. Oh, and the survivors rare. Okay. Oh, me. But he believes them. Okay, that's um, funny. So about those minotaurs. Oh, uh, fascinating. What about the Jotun? The Jotun around here are in a pre pretty sorry state, if you ask me. Something drove most of them from their homes, and all that's left are some strugglers to the south. Okay. Um, help her to maintain her Doliac Ranch. Let's run ads now. In the meantime, we'll do the heart. And then we'll go to the Priory. We're like super over leveled. For this zone now. I think it's what? It's. Yeah, up to 40. And we're almost 15, 47 now. How's your pet hunting going, uh, going Raptor? Keep Doliak safe, fed, and in their pen. This Doliak looks hungry. Will you help me with my ranch? I'm behind on chores and these darn ice worms are attacking my Doliaks. Sure, what can I do? Slay the ice worms and feed my pen Doliaks. If any Doliaks escape, let's give them a scare. They'll come running home. Oh. Feedback. Not the more. Why are you out of your pen? Hmm? Go back. Go back. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Oh. Thank you for helping me with my Doliak Ranch, uh, Alvia Reindot here. The bloated beast may be burdensome at times, but I wouldn't want any other job. The worms uh, you throttled are go good and gone, for now anyway. They breed like rabbits, so I suspect they'll be back at some point. If you ever need any supplies, feel free to stop by. Watch you go. Uh, nothing really. Okay, let's sell junk. Actually, let's just clear it on inventory. Speak with Stuart Gix. Yeah, sure. He obviously sent us to deal with the dredge there. Three point five. Three point five cents. Okay. How long stream? I don't know, Max. I'll probably finish after the story. We met. Well, briefly. On passing, to be honest. One's knowledge cannot go beyond. Magister Siren, yet again you neglect your duty to go on an adventure. You're completely out of control, you blasted weed. That's a slur, right? very lucky my expedition team needed your help to get out of there. I'm going to go easy on you. 
this time. Yeah. But if I ever find out that you ever risk another novice's life on one of your little curiosities, I'll prune your ears. Mark my words. Ah, our newcomer. I'm sorry for all the trouble. Siren is something of a firecracker. Yes, she is. <laughs> the novice did very well, Stuart. Don't fuss. Look, we even recovered these unusual artifacts. Won't you translate the writing for us, Gix? Don't wheedle me, you leaf-addled reprobate. Why I tolerate him... No. Oh. oh, my goodness. This is fascinating. Tell me, was anything missing from the cave? Yes, the dredge had taken a weapon from the cave. That's a wonderful guess. Guess something else, Gix. This is fun. <laughs> By the cogs of creation. They took the Sanguinary Blade. It's a legendary sword made of frozen blood. The weapon was lost when the Stone Summit Dwarves vanished. A sword made of blood? What kind of blood could possibly be made into a weapon? Rolls in one. The worst kind. Oh. Dragon blood. Magister, novice, you must find that blade and bring it safely to the Priory. Will do. We're on it, sir. You can count on us. See, Gix, we did good. Amazing. The prince's name was Dagnar Stonepate, apparently, and he was tremendously famous. Famous then? Dead today. He's nothing but a bone orchard now. Oh, God. You're on. Famous then? Dead today. <laughs> a bone orchard. Oh, my God, Siren, I love you. She is so fun. And here's a story and no events. That's quite unlucky. Bad blood? Let's get the sword. Where's Siren? There she is. Die! Die. <laughs> Look at this place. It must be tremendously old. Centuries even. Older than that. The Dwarven civilization lasted for more than 2,000 years, and this might be one of their first structures. It's so sad that the Dwarves all turned to stone and went to fight the dragons. Sad, but brave. The Dredge brought the sword here to find a way to destroy it. We'd better hurry before they succeed. You're absolutely right. First, we have to cross that windy bridge. I can use my magic to fly, but... You'll have to foot it. We are both Those flags and the torches flutter when the wind rises, so watch them carefully. Use the walls for cover. Keep your footing, go as fast as you can, and don't worry, it'll be cherry. It'll be cherry. Why can you fly and I can when we were the same class? Well, that's not flying. Watch the flags and use the walls for cover. That wind is fierce. Oh, okay, so now it's blowing. Now it's stopped. I mean, I kind of can't do it. I think I'll regret going. I regret going. Yeah, I should have stopped. I should have waited. Oh, I'm dead dead. I'm down. Need support. Need support. Um, um, yeah. So that's what we're not supposed to do. Mm hmm. Yeah. Why did I get hit by that? Okay, we go there, we go there, and we wait. We look at the flags, and then we go. And now we jump. And we're good. <laughs> and the squid, the squid are also from underground. And the dread, but they're blind, so it makes sense. What about that? Oh. I don't think it's noticed us. Ignore it and find a way to get up to that ledge. You never learned that trick. Huh. Well, looks like you'll have to climb. I think I see a path to the top. I'll mark it for you. 
Follow the trail of sparks. Of sparks. I don't remember it. Wait, Dagnar killed Rurik, Prince of Ascalon, and he had a Drake. Oh wait, no, I do remember that. Oh, I remember that. I was playing that with Rapture a couple of years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. What penalty you get for, uh, from dying? So what used to happen is your armor used to break. But now, I think they changed it. Now you can reinforce your armor when you like talk to a, to a to a blacksmith or an anvil I don't think there's any penalty to be honest I mean obviously you're dead but unless I'm mistaken maybe I'm mistaken but Siren so what about those sparks Okay, don't try opening portals. You are not a mesmer, you are an elementalist. Don't do that. Are those the sparks? Oh, that, okay, I see the sparks. No, I failed miserably. I am so stupid. Wait, can I also go this way? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what now? There's a lot of dead dredge. I have much to teach. Whoever that lord was, his friends took out this dredge. They took the sword too. Nobody passed us on the way in, so they must still be in here. Maybe down this hallway. Let's go. Wait, whoever that one was, his friends took out this dredge. They took the sword too. That's a trap, right? Yep. That's a trap. But this time, I can do what Siren's doing. Once I'm out of combat. And I'll change my skill. Hello? There we go. Um, uh, instead of this, give me mist form. And now we're going. As opposed to it was close. The guys. The bad guys. Okay. Good enough for me. Oh, let's switch back to the teleport. I'm so blind. Did you just kill him? On a oh, he transformed him. Come, my elementals, aid me. Frostbeard. I've heard of him. I did. He's a son of Svania. They're dragon cultists, and, and Stieg is a mean one. If he's got the sword, it'll be nothing but trouble. Did you see what happened when the blade cut his friend? It turned that Norn into a monster. I saw. That looked like dragon corruption to me. I guess the sanguinary blade really is made of dragon's blood. Gix was right. That's bad news for us, too. That sword will corrupt anyone that holds on to it for too long. Before we retrieve it for the Derman Priory, we'd better find a way to protect ourselves from the corruption. What about the sword's original scabbard? The dwarves must have made it strong enough to contain the blade. Smart. True. But how do we find that scabbard? It might be easier to create something of our own, using Priory knowledge. Give it a rumble in your brain, and let me know when you've made a choice. Chat, we have a choice. Are we... Are we trying to find the original scabbard for the sword? Or we're gonna craft something new for it? I'll let you decide. I 
and Nick uh, from the sword turned Habram into a monster. Fury, even if we get the sword, we can't we can't just carry it around like a tree branch. What kind of artifact could do that, Siren? A sword made from the blood of Jormag, the Ice Dragon. Seems that it's even more dangerous than we thought. We have to contain it somehow. What can we do? The way I see it, we can either search for a dwarven relic to use, or craft one ourselves. How exciting! I'll let you decide. Original, I'd say fine. Okay. Uh, sheet for the sword, if we find that, it should protect us. Okay, so we're trying to find the original sheath for the sword. Not the rabbit! Okay. Oh, it's a champion's team commander. I don't think I can kill him on my own. But I don't think I have to. There's so many people here now. There we go. I thought exploration without mounts would be more painful than, than it is. Sure, it's slow, but we get to see a lot more. And when we actually start using mounts, the maps will be, you know, already made for that kind of exploration. Oh, Use the Essence Coagulator to defeat Ice Imps and open Imp Portals, and test collected Imp Essence. Uh, okay, dokie. Researcher Suki. Testing Apparatus. Fire Test, Ice Test, Lightning Test. Oh, wait, no, I need to collect the things now. Uh, first, do I get it from you? I'm far too busy for my own good. Please, you must help me. It's imperative. I won't even try to experiment on you. Well, probably. How can I help? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I need to collect... I need to collect imp essence from my testing apparatus. But it tends, it tends to escape as soon as the imps die. Fortunately, I've constructed essence coagulators to, to help. What's an essence coagulator? An essence coagulator uses electricity to solidify an imp's essence. When the imp dies, their essence will just plonk on the ground, and my golemites will swoop in and collect it. Wait, okay, but is it something I have to pick up, or do I just kill imps? Here they are. No way. Um, shoot. Now we got the, the essences and we can test them out. So, test the effects of fire on imps or imp essences within the ess Oh. Oh, it's an event! How fun! very quick <laughs> okay my uh, lodorous what even is that Come on I want to go back to testing keeps for Leviathan yay fully operational, fully operational. Would you fix those up faster? My Operational parameters complete. Uh, so let's use an ice test. Destroys it. What about a lightning test? 
Oh, he's Shadow Imp. I'm always prepared for all likely catastrophes and a few of Essences, please. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. My strength ebbs as it uh, as I wait for the next battle. Come and fight me, so we may both grow more powerful. Are you an Orn? You are an Orn. That makes that makes sense. Okay, uh, so what I need to do, I can't fight, so what I need to do to get above 10 stacks, I need to create a ring of fire and explode it with a dragon's tooth, because that will give me 3 might, three might immediately. And then I, I just blast all the other spells, I am above 10 and I switch attunements and it explodes. Forest without trees? So plains. Right. Let's do it. Isn't it amazing? Hundreds of years ago, this was a proud stone summit fortress. They were a group of xenophobic dwarves, cruel, brutal, and unyielding. They're the ones that enslaved the dredge. Well, mostly. Now look at it. Everything it stood for, both good and bad, has been washed away by time. I'm continually amazed at Tyria's resilience. The Stone Summit kept their most valued artifacts here. The Priory retrieved quite a bit, until those nasty pirates moved into the area. You think the scabbard's still down there? I'm sure of it, novice. Ow. The question is, how do we convince the pirates to let us poke around? Buy them some beer? <gasps> Ooh! Convince them we're just shrubs. I like the idea of convincing them, but I think we should use our convincing weapons. Come on. Aren't you already a shrub? I'm sorry, that was racist of me. Only, we can only use tornado underwater. Oh, it turns into into a whirlpool. Okay. Oh my god, that's that's a lot of damage. Ooh. Can I still use my elementals? I uh, I cannot. Okay. Well, oh, that's fine. I remember my underwater skills. Is this healing? No, that's healing. Quagons! Quagons. Die, Quagons. Just wanna... Don't mind me, I just want to unlock this point of interest and I'll be back in the water, trust me. Get him! Get him! Why are you fighting? Oh. Her. There are mines here? For what reason? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I think I can TP. 
Oh, with this. So I throw it an air pocket. And yeah. And it teleports me. Dwarven relic. Dwarven relic. It's actually here. How did you know that, Siren? Welcome. I'm sure we'll, I, I should have talked with, talk with her. I'm sure we'll find a scabbard here. The keep that stood here contained the stone summit royal vault. Okay, that explains it. You found a team? Let's go. You can breathe underwater? Yes, all of us can br uh, breathe underwater. I mean, you can't really see it on, on the model because... Wait. Wait. Outfits. I don't have a proper uh, water breather now. But basically, you have underwater gear here. Use my weapon, my trident, and also my aqua breather. There's no, like, air mechanic. And thank, thank God for that. The team I found is the same people who are doing the Leviathan. Oh my god, okay. Good luck. Where will these rigs be located? At the, at the, at the bottom. Yeah, makes sense. Why are these pirates here anyway? Thor's lake was full of treasure before the priory searched, searched it. Still, what's left is wor worth a tidy sum to those with the patience to bring it up and sell it in Lion's Arch. Scavengers, got it. Now I ask another question. A rare vault. What kind of treasure did, did it have? Oh, all sorts of things. Gems, jewels, platinum, magic items. Those dwarves took many trophies after their victories. Okay, that explains it. It was... Let's get all of them. I'm not sure why. I'm picking them up. And here's a scabbard. And now we escape. And I used the wrong one again. Let's make a lighter. Interesting. Let's boil him. That's how I do By the wind. I teleport above ground. Above water. No, it disappeared. Definitely not the only one doing the turtle right now. Is that, the, is that the last part of it for you? Or is there any, uh, like anything else that you need? Cutscene. Now that's what I call combat archaeology. Well done, novice. Hey, we retrieved the scabbard. Now, how do we find the sanguinary blade? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot to tell you about that part. Oops. Oopsies. <laughs> the arcanist back at the Priory used a scrying spell to track Steeg. They told me that he's hiding near Black Ball's mill. We're also on double secret probation. Turns out Gix was mad about us not reporting after we went to the tomb. Wait, we were supposed to report in? Siren. If we don't find Steeg Frostbeard soon, the sword will corrupt everyone around him. It'll turn them all into monsters. We've got to hurry to Black Ball's mill. I'll meet you there. And Siren, don't forget to bring the scabbard. Yeah. He's a bit of a scatterhead, but it's fine. We love Siren. Peg leg hero challenge. 
Why are you called peg leg? You don't have a peg leg. Do you have an eye patch? Quagga needs an eye patch. A pirate would do too. We have a pirate. He wants. He's a Quagga. He wants to be pirate. What are you doing? Quagga is becoming a pirate because Quagga's village was destroyed. Quagga is alone in the world. All Quagga has left is to become a pirate. Quagga will show you all the best pirate moves if you want. Show me the pirate moves. Turn into a whirlpool. Okay. You are a salty crab, friend. Wagon has much respect for you. Captain Suash? Oh, Quaggan is so excited. Not only is Quaggan a pirate, Quaggan is a pirate captain. Quaggan is so lucky, Quaggan can't believe it. What are you going to do now? Oh. Uh, it's like an, a big event to make him a captain and kill the previous one, and it's at the end of it. Oh, oh. Good question. Quaggan hadn't thought beyond making the pirates be nice. Maybe the pirates have ideas. The Quaggan voice is so wild, it's barely capturing on mic. Ah, oh, that sucks. Why do you want to be a pirate? Quaggan wants. Uh, Quaggan spent most of Quaggan's life being afraid. Now Quaggan. Uh, now Quaggan in charge. Quaggan's strong. Quaggan has friends, and all of Quaggan's friends will be nice. Yeah, it's... I can't do any weird voices. That's a big tree. Meet pirate destroyer shred flags and steel rum. Steel rum. This will be a much faster one. There are so many grapes up there. For what reason? I want those grapes. I remember that. Remember what? Because I'm sorry, I bad finger that. Not my fault. I mean, kind of my fault, but. What do you mean, no line of sight? What do you mean, no line of sight? Huh? And like. Oh, okay. I read Vintner? Vintner? Is that a person who just makes wine? Vintner? Vintn Is that a... How do you even pronounce that? I'm gonna let them live. I mean, he's, he just makes wine. I can't blame him for that. And there are a lot of grapes here, it makes sense. Vintner. It doesn't sound English. Hey, what are we even doing? Find steak, frost beard, and free of the sanguine blade. Okay, 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 okay. Mightier than the sword. Oh. She's just having a little chat. Hello there, Norn. We're here from the Derman Priory. 
And your friend Stieg has something that belongs to us. We're just here for Frostbeard. Bring us the sword he carries, and we won't hurt you. Pathetic little bookworms. Stieg Frostbeard is mighty. He will attack Lion's Arch, and we will show you all Dragon's power. Stieg's blood sword is a holy relic of the dragon, Jorman. The dragon blesses Stieg for his faithful service. He will lead us to victory. It's not too late. Please, think about what you're doing. The dragon may give you power, but in exchange, he's made you slaves. Abandoned dragon in his time of triumph? <laughs> Why would we do that? Lion's Arch is filled with innocent people. You can't do this. They aren't listening, novice. Time to switch to plan B. Go get them! I like that. Evaded every single attack. <laughs> nice. Teach them manners. Yeah. Oh, Stake Frost is there. He's lost his mind, the sword will, will turn all into his monsters. Yeah. I mean, that's what he's done already. Honestly, let's kill the others. So that he can't turn them into monsters. And he's already done it, okay. Oh my god. Pick some sword! I got a mail. Oh, that's the third dungeon. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep those and we'll read those uh, those invitations uh, once we actually start doing the dungeons. Like maybe next stream. We just need more people. Well done, novice. The Sanguinary Blade is ours, and Lion's Arch is safe from Stieg Frostbeard. It's hard to believe that Stieg was willing to see all his Norn friends die, just to keep the power of the Sanguinary Blade. That's not hard for me to believe at all, novice. It's typical of the idiots who serve Elder Dragons. <laughs> True. The dragons are a blight. They don't care about anything but their hunger. Their followers are just... bad. Bad. Even if we find a way to save the world from the dragons, I sometimes wonder if we'll ever find a way to save us from ourselves. When Gix told me I was going to be mentoring a new novice, I thought it would be an incredibly boring task. Um. But you know what? I really like you. You're willing to try new things, and you've got a good head on your shoulders. Thanks, Siren. I have to admit, this has been a lot of fun. <laughs> Cherry, come on, let's get the sword back to Gix. After that, we'll work on saving the world. Love Siren. He's so sweet. I have much to teach. I'm sure you do. Mightier than the sword. Library science. I love that priory artwork. So nice. Hello, Siren. Hello, Gix. At last, the sanguinary blade. I shudder to think of the damage it would have wrought without your aid. You've both done well. Consider yourselves off probation. Hey. Further, novice, I hereby promote you to the rank of explorer, with all the rights and privileges, etc., etc. I'd like you to continue your partnership with Siren. Perhaps you can keep this deciduous do-gooder out of trouble. Do my best. Thank you, Stuart Gix. I'd be happy to collaborate with Siren. We work well together. Poor Gix. 
You're just jealous that you're stuck in here being leadery and responsible while we're having all the fun. Yes, yes. I'm sure that's exactly what it is. Be that as it may, I must rely on you two for another project. Oh. Your next endeavor is a research assignment involving one of the lesser races of Tyria. Do try not to teach them bad habits, Siren. Hmm? Explorer, get a briefing from Siren and choose which species you'd like to study. Now, go. Which of these races would you like to study, Scholar? The Hylek are an enigma. Do we know much about them? They worship the sun, they make potions, and that's about all we know. We could definitely benefit uh, from more study. I could learn a lot by studying the psychology of the Grohl. The Grohl are extremely primitive and exceptionally ferocious. You're very brave to consider dealing with them. Um, it's said the ogres are an ancient, ancient race. I want to know more. The ogres are one of the most ancient races, and yet we know so little about them other than the direction dedication to their pets okay chat this will yeah this will dictate our next level 50 story arc high leg are uh, our frog people grow are the the ones we were fighting in the first on the, during the first stream like in a cave they're like i don't know how to describe them they're Weird. <laughs> We're destroying their cultures through, throughout the, uh, the first zone. And ogres are, well, ogres, big, poorly, they have pets, they're ha good hunters. Um, and I'll let you guys decide. I don't have, between those three, I don't have a favorite, so. I don't do, I don't mind doing any, either one of them. Alec, okay. So, Alec it is. The Halek are an enigma, do we know much about them? I choose to study the high leg. Sweet, and that is going to be everything. Oh, we got a mail from air. Uh, let's still read that then. Hello, my friend. Hills of your recent deeds have reached as far as Holbrook, and the servants of your order speak highly of the many things you have done. Already you prove that my faith in you is well placed. As for myself, I have been traveling. I have been investigating the legend the legend of a powerful sword, the match of Ritlox, that may yet exist. Within the catacombs of Ascalon, Soja still fights for Snuff's legacy, while Kate uh, roams the Kalan forest, keeping her own counsel. I hear Logan's returned to Krita. I suppose I should not be surprised he fears for his queen's safety. And rightly so. There are many who seek to destroy the treaty between the Char and the humans. We must stop them if we are if we are to succeed in saving Tyria from the dragons. You are doing well, Slayer. Continue on your path, and you will hear from me again very soon. So what she said here is basically, mm, it's basically like a very brief summary of the dungeons that we're gonna do eventually. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and check me out on twitch.tv slash itsaskar. See you in the next one!